hi I'm going to show you how to use conditional formatting so if you look at all the cells some I should have a different color and if, if it's actually 8 o'clock finish it will be this yellow and then if it's 9 o'clock it will be this color holiday will be one color sick will be another color so I'm just going to show you how I created this uh, coloring so first of all see this corner here you click on it to select the entire sheet right click and go to conditional formatting right at the bottom of the list and when you come over here you can see these are the um, things that I have set um, the condition for it. so that that is actually um, 8 o'clock finish that is 9 o'clock finish so anything that start with the word sick uh, will be this color and then unpay will be this color and then anything that has uh, start with loo will be this color anything with pat will be this color so that is why Patricia demo is highlighted yeah so if if somebody is called Holly that would be highlighted as this color so don't be surprised if you see somebody with the name Holly and then their name actually stands out or somebody called Matt they would be this color yeah so I'm paying no show train uh, train as in training so that's so I've actually set a lot of um, formatting here so I'm just going to show you how to add to this list um, if you actually look on hold on the reference page along here you have got the list of times but right at the bottom okay in um, one, near 130 you have a list and all of these are um, the colors I've set set up for so if you have something other than what you have here I will show you how to input it in first of all I'm going to show you how to add to the drop down menu so go to the reference tab and in column A with all the time find this free space and type in um, the words that you could, could not find in the list that I just showed you career break and long leave okay so these were the two um, topic which I haven't actually put down the, or the reason for not being at work so you go back to the main and then uh, you can actually just choose any of the time or any cell delete it and click onto it so you should actually see it here career break or of course you can just type in long l o long leave okay now at the moment is blue color so i want to choose the color for this cell so what i do is um i select select the entire sheet by going to that corner and then right click when you see the conditional formatting um you just add a new rule okay so it will tell you you are selected the whole in the entire sheet so I actually want um, to click onto this and I want it to be exact so the exact word was career break now now you can actually choose the color there are some common colors here but if you actually click on the paint pot you can um, choose your own color I'm going to choose pink 
usually if I choose a dark color I will choose white so that it will stand out like this um, let's see how it looks so it will turn out like this um, so I can actually just put another career break CR career break and we'll see it change oh this time it's quicker right now I'm going to show you again how to um, do another color for long leaf again I'm going to select the entire sheet um, I prefer to do this because I do actually have some hidden uh, file here so if you select the entire sheet this this will also be conditioned so right click once I've selected the entire sheet right click and use conditional formatting I'm actually just trying to find the one I just typed in yeah um, for example I know this one is for entire sheet so I could actually click onto it and uh, this is actually for the lot, uh, career break I could actually make add another rule to it so once you are actually done that it will duplicate this particular one so that you can actually change so this one is going to be called long leaf and then I'm going to change the color to this color okay done right we can have a look now so that is what it will look like long leaf but I think it's most useful when you actually have um, overtime because that will happen quite frequently so let me um, do one on for the overtime so click on this cell and let's just say um, overtime and then O T and then maybe five so I have got I've got a text here now you see I have actually set a conditional formatting for the eight o'clock finish but then this person is having overtime on top of this but I want the overtime to come before the priority to come before eight o'clock so I'm going to show you how to do it now so first of all you click um, to select the, the whole area right click conditional formatting add another rule so I'm actually adding a rule that contain OT so that will be text containing but what I will do is um, sp space OT space okay because I know it, when I actually um, do the overtime I will also always have a space and then OT and another space and then I will type the um, number in okay but I think what I will do is I'll get rid of the last space okay so anything that um, have a space OT it will flash up because sometimes um, when you do overtime for somebody you, you might not type a number in and then now um, I can just choose the color that that I want but this time I'm going to choose a um, no I don't like anything too sharp I, I'm actually tempted to do something really sharp but I, it's just too painful for, for my eyes actually so I, I can't actually do that okay so it's going to be this color so anything that has dash OT it will, it will become this color all right let's now bear in mind because it is last on the list the prior priority is very low so I'm going to drag it uh, higher so if you actually see um, this very edge 
and when the arrow changes you can actually drag it upwards now I need to drag it above the 8 o'clock finish right because it's over uh, above 8 o'clock it will show right so anything with the space OT it will actually contain uh, this it will appear with this color so I'm going to type uh, space OT here I'm not going to um, type in any number because sometimes um, offhand you, it's very hard to uh, think how many hours this will be yep so this is how you um, do conditional formatting it's, it's actually not hard people think it's hard but really it's not hard at all but I have to say once you are once you have started to copy and paste copy and paste numerous times see this is apply to range these numbers do, do get mixed up quite quite a bit so you see this number eight it actually means um, row number eight so what you're trying to say is from row number eight to um, AG735 it would be this um, the conditional format would apply apply to this area so the um, letters represent um, the columns and the numbers represent uh, the rows so it's actually quite easy if you want to add another range you just press here and just add it on otherwise you can just delete if you find that this is actually within this you can just delete it yeah but if you don't know what you're doing just really don't bother yeah thank you bye